And that news will be very good news to the ears of Catholic bishops who had earlier called on the opposition leader, Raila Odinga, to suspend the uh, demonstrations uh, that were planned for Monday. The Kenya Conference of Catholic Churches Chairman Archbishop Martin Kivuva at the same time called for a truce between President William Ruto and the opposition, noting that the demonstrations are only causing more harm than good. Yes, came before the two leaders issued separate statements with as merely the calling of the Monday demos. Slowly in their numbers, the Catholic faithful in Mombasa marked the Palm Sunday with a procession from Makupa roundabout to St. Joseph Catholic Church in Chuda. Speaking outside the church before the service, the Kenya Conference of Catholic Churches Chairman Archbishop Martin Kivuva called on President William Ruto and the opposition leader Raila Odinga to give dialogue a chance. Let us pray for our leaders in the nation, both opposition and government, to speedily embark on constructive, inclusive dialogue to address the challenges facing our nation. The Azimio leadership to consider cancelling their demonstrations during this Holy Week and all the time so that we can embrace dialogue. We also ask for the suspension of uh, celebrative gatherings and prayer meetings organized by government and political leaders with the political nonces witnessed in such gatherings and prayer meetings. Archbishop Kivuva also sent a sound warning to both the demonstrators and security authorities to refrain from violence and use of excessive force. We appeal to the security operatives, the police and others, to avoid excessive use of force during peaceful demonstration, if any. And the uh, demonstrators, on their part, to exercise the right without provoking the police. Sentiments echoed by Anglican Church of Kenya Archbishop Jackson Olesa Pitt during the Palm Sunday at the All Saints Cathedral, Nairobi. Sapit calling on the two sides to turn down ahead of Easter. I'm calling upon the organizers of demonstration in this country to call it off as at least for this week, the Holy Week, for us to be have a break. But even for posterity, let us learn how to solve our issues, not in demonstration and not in use of excessive force. Speaking separately during a church service at House of Grace in Nairobi West, the spouse of the deputy president, Pastor Dorcas Rugadi, termed the opposition demonstrations as destructive and unhealthy for the country. I come here to speak for those boys who are out there. The ones who are being abused and those ones who are taking that tear gas, the ones who are killed, those are my boy children. I've been wanting to turn around, to rehabilitate and cause and to validate their dreams. You and I must validate the dreams of those children. For Sunday Express, I am Anboru.